In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy the CBU-97 with the F-16 here in DCS. We'll cover off what the weapon is, how to deploy it and a debrief of its effectiveness. So let's get stuck in. The CBU-97 is a smart cluster bomb and each bomb contains 10 submunitions. Each submunition contains 4 skeets and each skeet will carry out one of two tasks in game. If it finds a target using its sensors, it fires an explosively formed penetrator causing an almost guaranteed one hit kill. If it fails to find a target, it self destructs 50 feet above the ground causing widespread collateral damage. Overall, each bomb will release 40 skeets, and given we are going to drop 8 bombs in a single run, that is a total of 320 skeets. This should be fun, if not a little overkill. So let's get stuck into that. Okay, so I'll put master arm on and go into air to ground master mode. Looking at the right hand MFD, we'll use CCRP mode. You can use CCIP if you so wish. We'll drop these bombs in pairs and we'll use an impact spacing of 300 feet and a ripple of four. This means we're going to drop eight bombs in total in four pairs across 1200 feet. Turning our attention to the left hand MFD, we'll change the flicker's placeholder to the TGP page, press DMS down on our HOTAS to make it sensor of interest, expand field of view to zoom in, and TMS left to change to white over hot. Here you can use the RDR cursor to fine tune the target, but given we have the steer point bug as of November 2020, we'll leave it where it is for the sake of this video. At this point the jet is set up for release. As with all CCRP drops, the aim of the game here is to align the velocity vector with the steering line and wait for the solution cue to drop. This typically happens 8 to 10 seconds prior to release and is indicated by the countdown shown on the HUD. When the solution cue starts to drop, press and hold the weapon release button until all bombs have been released from the aircraft. And there they go. Let's find somewhere to sit back and watch the fireworks. The initial explosions will be the CBU-97 releasing the submunitions. There they go. The exploding vehicles will be evidence of the penetrating skeets and the raised dust across the target area will be the skeets unable to find a specific target. As you can see, it has a fairly devastating effect. Needless to say, this probably isn't a weapon to be used in a cast scenario close to friendly units. Bringing up the debrief window, you can see we have 16 confirmed kills in total and no doubt many more damage. You can see we've killed BTRs, tanks, MiGs, transports and AAA. It is very effective indeed. Okay, that's it. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. And if you found this useful, please consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel. Okay, thanks for watching.